Okay, so this is a quick makerspace tour for the new school year. So, um, I guess just going around the room. Kind of similar setup and a little bit different than last year. A few new things um, that we've got in here and different ways I guess that we want to use the space a little bit this year. So starting along the back we've got construction this time so uh, wood pieces, other things, panels, boxes, stuff like that. Then all the construction tools then kind of go along the back area now. Um, one of the screens here, so these obviously I talked about these previously, so these are wireless uh, connected through Chromecast so there's uh, six of these around the room. Uh, coming over to the windowsill area, so new 3D printers for this year, so these are, um, they look more intimidating but they're tons better than the old ones. So we had previously, we had um, tier time um, 3D printers previously, they were expensive for parts that, that needed replacing often. Um, so these are really cool, so they're very straightforward to use. They're running off a uh, Raspberry Pi on each one as a wireless print server. So kids can just, each, each printer has a web address basically. So you go to the web address for the printer and just upload your file you want to print. Um, choose a couple of options and then click go and it will start printing for you. Uh, so they're kind of cool. Uh, then along this side we have, um, well down below we've got, sorry before I get to those pieces, down below we've got um, various different electronics pieces along here. Uh, still got the IKEA magnet wire holder. Um, lots of other electronics pieces here. Then the the Emblazer 2 um, laser cutters. So these are both new. Fantastic. Super, super pleased with these. Um, really, really good. So I'll make some longer videos about those at some point. But these are fantastic um, and super simple for the kids to use again. Um, hey, there's something that was made on a laser cutter. Um, so along this side we've got a lot of our micro bit stuff, um, so various boxes, things that still need to go on the wall, um, micro bit, meow bits, batteries, other things, loads more electronics and components down on the bottom. Stormtrooper's still here. Um, along the front, what I will do, we've got another couple of sewing machines that will go, this space will be expanded a little along, a couple more sewing machines to go on here and then... Um, we want to really fill up these spaces with um, sort of textiles and craft things to go along this side. Um, so we've got a bit more of a space for that. Then down this side, yeah, sort of crafty bits in here. Um, more sort of kit robots here, I guess. So Lego robotics stuff there, um, variety of stuff, air block vex, um, shiny new wireless glue guns. So these are super cool, but we're just in the process of 3D printing uh, or designing and 3D printing some stands which will be actually mounted to this surface so it'll hold the wire in uh, and hold the things in place when they're on here. Um, we had to build a fence to pen in the dashes because they keep escaping. They keep switching themselves on when they're charging. So they've got a little fence now, keeps them, uh, keeps them in. And then along here we've got a make block um, robotic stuff. Uh, the Make Code Arcade arcade machine is still here, so kids can still connect any creations and run it on the arcade machine just there. And that is about where we are at the moment with it. So, um, looking forward to using the space this year. It's going to be a little bit different uh, in terms of what we can do with the kids um, just as we start back this year and how we've got to be a little more distant in here. But uh, looking forward to doing some exciting things in here this school year.